Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Nia Wong, filling in for Aaron Luna on Nightside. We have four days until the November election, and Spokane voters are getting blasted with political ads on TV and in their mailboxes. One mailer from Cindy Wendell, running to be the next city council president, is raising some eyebrows. Not only because of the claims in the ad, but also this Photoshop picture of her opponent, Brienne Beggs, who calls it an attempt at body shaming. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk shows us how Wendell is defending the ad and how Beggs is responsible. Responding tonight. Well, yeah, Beg says he thought a political action committee was behind the ad. Then he saw the other side and realized it was paid for by Wendell's campaign. They tell us this ad was meant to get people's attention. Didn't strike me as the type of tone coming out of the Cindy Wendell that I know. Brian Beggs is calling out his opponent over an ad that's showing up in mailboxes all over Spokane. Beggs says the photo of his face was taken from a 2014 family picture. It was photoshopped to make him look overweight. Thought it was ridiculous and really disappointing that people would try to distort someone's body to make a political point. We reached out to Wendell for a comment. She said in part, the satirical portrayal of Brian was done to draw attention to the hypocrisy of his record. Every day, people share stories with me saying they see more open drug use, more crime, and more homelessness in our city than three years ago. And they're looking for someone who hears them and will work to fix these issues instead of ignore them. People deserve to know the truth about Brian's record. Hopefully this mailer gets their attention. The mailer says Beggs' directionless leadership has led to several problems. Just like they distorted my body, they distorted the facts. The ad talks about higher crime rates and sources a KXLY article about the downtown 7-Eleven. Police are arresting more people there. However, violent and property crimes are both down double digits compared to last year. The ad mentions a rise in homelessness. There were more people counted this year. However, volunteers did survey 38 new locations. The ad also mentions loss of local businesses and families being afraid to go to the park. There's no evidence of those claims in any of the articles cited in the mailer. An election night is next Tuesday. Your ballot must be postmarked by November 5th or put in a ballot drop box by 8 p.m. on election night. 4 News Now will have team coverage of the results all evening. Nia? Thank you, Kyle. Meanwhile, in North Idaho, a postcard mocking a photo taken a few weeks ago at a Coeur d'Alene City Council meeting is popping into some mailboxes. The original photo shows Mayor Steve Widmeyer, City Council candidate Christy Wood, and other city leaders. It was snapped not long after the mayor proclaimed Coeur d'Alene as an inclusive community. This cartoon version reimagines the city as what it calls a freak show. On the card, Wood and the mayor are depicted as cartoon-like clowns, and it also depicts a drug addict, a homeless man, a suicide bomber, and a woman wearing a burqa. Wood tells us she's frustrated by the postcard because it's bad for the city's image as a whole. It's unclear who sent the postcard and how many people have received them.